in the last session we have discussed two cases of projection of solid in one case the base was kept inclined to the horizontal plane and in the second case the base of the solid was inclined to vertical plane now in this session we will discuss case 3 when base of the solid is inclined to both hp and vp this problem cannot be solved directly because you cannot place the of the base on oblique plane directly and therefore we convert this oblique plane into either inclined plane or into a vp and then make it as a case 1 or as a case 2 case 1 is when the base inclined to horizontal plane and case 2 is when the base inclined to vertical plane so let us say alpha beta r norm that is the angle made by the oblique plane so you first draw the dts of oblique plane with the alpha beta and that i explained how to draw the vertical trace horizontal trace of a oblique plane when its inclinations are given alpha beta so take a ground line draw a circle here of any radius then make a diameter of this circle draw a tangent on this circle at angle alpha another tangent in the horizontal plane at angle beta this is the point a this is the point e now from and let us say this is the point b now from b take this as bc as radius and draw a semicircle in the lower part and similarly if it is d then bd and it is a circle in the upper part now from these two points a and d e, you draw a tangent to these semicircles and you get the vertical trace and horizontal trace of the plane they will join they will meet at a point common point on the ground that is the vertical trace and horizontal trace that is how you draw the dh of oblique plane when its angles are known draw a circle of any radius like a diameter ab c ab b and draw a tangent to this circle at the alpha in the upper part another tangent to the circle at beta in the lower part you get a point b rotate pd make a full a half circle in the upper part and from this a lower circle and then from these two points you draw tangent to these circles and circles you get the vertical trace of the trace you can also draw the vertical trace of the trace by the vertical line method you can refer my class on bts on oblique plane to understand how to withdraw the bts when in the alpha beta Now let us see. Finally, you got the BTH. BTH. Now convert this BTH into either inclined plane or into a plane. And for that, if you take a plane here, x1, y1, perpendicular to one another trace, and you project this. bt on this abp you get a, a new plane here a new plane b1 c1 x conversion of oblique plane i have already discussed in the lecture of lecture on oblique planes so what we do we take a ground line perpendicular to horizontal trace x1 y1 and project this bt on this ground line this is abp So take a point, any point here, and then from this you draw a projector and take this distance here. You get the vertical trace. Now you place the parabola in the horizontal plane. Now this case is similar to case one when the base is inclined to horizontal plane. Let us keep the pyramid, square pyramid, in the horizontal plane. 
taking a b parallel to ground line you can take at an angle also as we have done in case of inclined plane of a b and projection of this on this ground line. that is the plate that is the high of the solid with the height of the solid and that is o this is b and c both this is a and b Then, as a first step, place the solid with base in the horizontal plane. And now, you bring this base on this IP so that it makes again alpha with the horizontal plane. So, from each point in the plan, rotate about T1 and bring it on the vertical place. So, you get O here and this is the Height, you get a triangle. Okay, O moves to O1, and this is B1, C1, or oh, sorry, dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, because it's the height, and this is A1 dash, B1 dash. And from these points, in the plan, so in the elevation, you now get the new plan. So from each point here, you move perpendicular to ground line, x1, y1. Okay. And from these points, you move parallel to ground line, ground line, x1, y1. So D moves to this position, let us say D1, A moves to this position, A1. And that is C1 and that is B1. B1. And O. O comes here. O comes here. O. Now, again the same thing you draw the boundary of the projection. Boundary projection is O1, D1, C1, B1, A1. And O. That is the boundary section. Okay? These are the points. A1, B1, C1, B1, O1. These are the points. This is the opposite point. A, B, C, D. Now, see this one. Initially, what we did, you place the solid in the horizontal plane. So that this edge is parallel to ground line. Now you move to this position. Okay? Now this is a, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, T, or we can say A, B, C, T. A, B is near to ground line, so let us say A, B, C, and D. But when you tilt this base and you look from the top for the plan, this has will not be visible. This has will not be visible to the observer. And that is A, B, this edge. So, AB is dotted plane. AB is a dotted plane. But these edges will be visible. These edges will be visible. That is O, B, and O, C. So, these are the lines which are crossing this and they are formed. That is the new plan. New plan of solid after the base makes angle alpha with the horizontal plane. Now, if you take this elevation to the reference vertical plane, you will get the second angle also, that is angle beta. Angle beta. So, from each point in the plan, if you move in the vertical plane, And then take the distance of their elevation. Now, elevation here is this much. This distance for A and B, and this distance for B and C. Okay? This distance, and this distance for O. So, O is here at this distance. Right. 
forward. All dash, the same all dash. This height from the ground line, this height. A and B, they are at this distance, this height. So A and B are here. This is B dash and this is A dash. B and C, they have the same height now. So B and C will be here. This is B dash and this is C dash. Right? You got five points, five corners of the solid in the vertical plane. Now again, considering all those four points, you join these. First is that join the boundary. Boundary is O1, B1, B dash, okay? A dash, D dash, and Boundary is basically outermost point of the projection. So that is the boundary. Now you look at this. Initially, you cast it like this. You gave an angle to this, and then you gave an angle to this. So that is the first step, the second step. Now when you keep this angle and look from the elevation side, from the, this side, this point C is behind the observer now. This Initially, this was A, B, no, A, A, B, C, and B. Now you are giving an angle here, and then giving an angle here, and now looking from the front side. So this is the point which is, this is the point which is not visible now, this corner. Which one? This corner, C. When you look from the front side here, that is the point which is away from the observer. And therefore, all lines meeting at this corner must be this hidden lines or dotted lines. So this line is a dotted line, this line is a dotted line, and this line is also a dotted line. Right. Now you see if there is any line left. Any line left. Which one? O, A. That is the edge. Otherwise, all the edges are drawn. O, C, O, B, O, D are drawn. O, A. It crosses the dotted line, therefore, it has to be a firm line. That is the position. This is the final position of the socket. When it is, when the base is inclined to base A, B, C is inclined to both H, P and P. Friends, thank you very much for watching this video. I am sure you have understood the concept. If you have any questions, you can write in the comment box.